Hello and welcome back to the building of the Ben Buckle Falcon. If anybody has uh, been looking in on this build so far, you'll know that I was really rather pleased with myself when I got to checking out the CG and it's very close to where I think it needs to be. And once I've made that decision, I've actually pushed ahead a little bit and I've started to install the uh, radio gear um, off recording. So I'll show you where I'm up to now. You can see there, I hope, that the servos have been mounted on a tray and that tray is screwed onto a rail, which will allow more fine adjustment to be made if necessary. I haven't cut the plastic push rods yet, although they could be trimmed off and still leave an inch or so either side, it would be fine. I've installed a switch which is activated via a push rod. I may cut this bend off and replace it with a nice brass knob on the end that I'll actually lock tight on. I think I probably will. I've organised it so that the on position, keep it in focus, the on position is when the lever's pushed in. And that's by way of a safety feature, really, because although this is unlikely to be launched by hand, I have known that people have switched off models inadvertently when launching them. Either by, if the switch is mounted externally, having the switch so that the off position is in the slide back mode. So the catch it with the finger and the slide the, the switch backwards and the turn it off just at launch point. So it's good practice if you are mounting this externally to have it so that the back position is on. It's very unlikely that you'll switch it off by pushing it forward. And likewise, if you're using a push rod such as this, you're more likely to push a rod, uh, the push rod in by accident than pull it out by accident. So you want it to be in the on position when it's pushed forward. So if I turn this radio gear on, I used this for the first time yesterday with a couple of vintage models, and I must say I'm in love with this radio, far more than you would I would ever need in terms of sophistication, but it is a lovely setup. Uh, radio Master XT16S. You can see I've got a photograph of a falcon on there, I'll replace that with a photograph of my falcon when it's eventually taken to the air, I hope. So, that's on. We switch the gear on. The receiver's just lying in there at the moment. I think I'll actually mount it on the top here so that you can see it through the glazing. And on that point, you'll notice that none of the glazing's been put in yet because it's still easier when working on this to be able to get my hands through the windows. I need to strengthen this part, this um, switch pad up, which I'll do with a couple of um, balsa runners underneath. But it's just easier to mess around with it without the windows being in. So there we go. And we have movement, we have life. More than I think will ever be needed at high rates. So we're all set now. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to install the servo for the throttle. And I've just checked everything again with the CG. Now everything's screwed in. And it's coming out at a roundabout here. Which is approaching the one third back. Maybe a little touch more. And I think that'll be a good starting point to be honest. Um but we'll see, we'll see. I'll keep you informed, I'll keep you updated on how things go. Um, I'm rather pleased with the way it looks. I need to get my hand on some fuel proofing, proofing and I'll fuel proof this bay today so that I can get the engine bolted in. And then I've got a couple of ideas on how to keep the, any fuel that does come out of here off the side of the model. But that'll be the purpose for a separate video. So thanks for sharing the journey with me. Thumbs up if you have enjoyed it so far. Subscribe if you haven't done so, and then you'll see the rest of this journey and ultimately the maiden. A few of the lads at the flying field yesterday, uh, yes, we did get flying yesterday, 
were actually um, quizzing me about when the launch date for this might be. I'm thinking about two or three weeks' time. We'll see. Thanks for watching.